road all over Japan in place of uh, buses going to Anthony. Access for the site will be moved to allow for three dwellings, but also an improvement in sight lines along West Road and Barrow Road. The site is not subject to a tree preservation order, and whilst some trees will or have been removed, a significant number, a significant number are to be retained and conditions are proposed to protect them during development. <coughs> Plans submitted demonstrate that the site can be developed in three levels without impacting on residential communities or privacy of adjoining dwellings. It is not considered that the proposed development will harm the character of the area and the application is recommended for approval. There is a qualified petition objection. Would the lead petitioner like to come forward to speak on this? Yes, please. Thank you.
each have not less than one quarter of an acre of land attached. This covenant should not be ignored as it clearly illustrates the original character and intention for the neighbourhood, which has remained unchanged for many years. All the rear gardens on Barrow Road and West Road are large, quiet and mature. However, this new development to go ahead will set the precedent and open the floodgates for similar developments, thus changing the whole character of the neighbourhood. As I'm sure you would agree from your side visit, with significantly less impact, the developer could keep the character and harmony of the neighbourhood by simply redeveloping the existing property. To conclude, we believe there has been no significant change to the proposed development to negate the original objections and concerns. The dwellings proposed would have a considerable impact through their associated noise, disturbance and effects on privacy. <coughs> this would indeed be greater than could be reasonably expected in an area surrounded by quiet and private rear gardens. The safety concern, concerns of this development are substantial and the risk to life should be considered carefully. <coughs> the precedent it would, share, it would set would change the whole neighbourhood. This development in our view remains non-compliant with HF policies HS4, HS10 of Wirral's UDP, SPG Note 10 of the National Planning Policy Framework and the Government Garden Grabbing Legislation of 2010. The outcome of this application, therefore, is of huge importance to all of us. Members of the committee, we rely on your good judgment and urge you to reject this application, which, was, which in, in our submission hardly differs from the previous application refused by Mr. David Ball on the 5th of August 2016. Uh, thank you for listening. Each dwelling 
providing us a good sized detached property with sufficient rear gardens and green spaces to ensure the site is not overdeveloped. In addition, the proposed layout demonstrates that the dwellings are sited so as to comply with the required minimum separation distances. The site isn't covered by a TPO. Although a number of trees have recently been cleared from the site, there will still be a significant number of trees retained, notably around the perimeter of the site, which will result in the site largely retaining its appearance of heavy tree cover. The planning officer's report considers that the proposed development will not harm the character of the area or the amenities of neighbouring properties, and therefore complies with Rural UDP Policy HS4 and HS10, SPG10 and the National Planning Policy Framework. We will respectfully ask that members follow the recommendations of officers and grant approval. Also, 
discussed the side with the uh, road safety manager. Uh, obviously that one's refused on, on grounds other than highway safety. But um, when this one came in for three uh, dwellings, I've been out and had another look at it myself and discussed it again with the road safety manager. Um, we looked at the accidents 